why even if you've got a process for processes, you're going to struggle. Like check this out, even if you have a process for processes, which makes sense, like if you're going to build out your business to run on systems, you're going to need to have a way of documenting your processes. So you want some consistent way of doing that. And if you had that process for creating processes, then you're good to go. You should be fine, right? This at a first level appears to be a powerful solution for systemizing your business. If you had all your processes wrote, written down, then hey, you're good to go, right? Everything's going to work. But this is not true. You see, what you are lacking is something greater than just a process for processes. What you lack is the understanding of how all those processes fit together. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a whole lot better than having nothing written down. But if you just have 372 processes in one folder, it is better, but it will cause problems. What you'll have is people unable to find processes or start creating processes when they don't need to, that you'll end up with duplicates, you'll end up with problems. Maybe not if it's just you or two or three team members, but once you start to grow and get five, seven, 12 people all operating in that one folder with those processes, it's gonna become pretty uncontrolled pretty quickly. Still better than not having anything. So what's the missing key? Well, you might think, hey, if I need a, a process for processes, then maybe there's something about this systems thing like, what about if I had a system for systems? Well, that would help. That would definitely help because then you would have a way of making your systems and a way of making your processes, which would be really helpful. But you're still going to suffer. You see, without the fundamental understanding of how systems and processes relate to each other, you're going to end up with a big mess. I remember working through this problem. How do systems and processes relate to each other? Brutal experience. Like <laughs> just, just, it took me two days fighting to try and work out how these two things interact with each other. You know, I had an advantage. I knew that I needed both. How? Well, I've been in the Wake Up Warrior program and in their three areas of business. They have production, profit, and protection. The first of production is pretty easy. Marketing, sales, advertising, fulfillment. Like you, you know about these things in business. So if you're running a business, you would be familiar with all of those things for production. They are essential. Otherwise, your business will not work. But then we move to the next category, the profit category. And here were four more categories, processes, systems, optics, and people. This is a very interesting category. You see, what happened to me when I first got into running a business was that I hired people, but we had nothing written down and it all went to hell in a handbasket pretty quickly. I quickly realized that any thoughts I had where I would be able to have more time for myself were completely demolished within the reality that it took far more time to run people when I was the one telling them what to do. I had no, no idea. So I, I went and found something extremely helpful, Tim Francis out of Profit Factory, and he said, hey, here you go. Here's, here's a, a way of documenting your systems, your processes, your templates, your references. And this was extremely helpful. And then I had Warrior as well, telling me that there was processes and systems, but still I did not understand. And I had read the books, E-Myth, Work the System, Clockwork. I hadn't read Systemology. It was elusive though. 
because what I was struggling with is just the one piece that links these things together. How do systems and processes work together? Because once you've got those, optics is relatively easy. It optics, you just go through, look at what you need to report on, create the systems for it. Okay, great, get it done, easy enough. People, people are interesting because people will work without systems, but they will not scale well. You see, people don't scale, but systems scale. But still, there was this category of processes as well as systems. And I was like, whoa, what is going on here? Well, wh when do I need a system? When do I need a process? And as I worked through that, I got to an interesting conclusion. They're related. They are related. And that was a breakthrough. That was an absolute breakthrough for me when I started to see that these are not two separate things. Just as people aren't separate from the work of the business, Systems are not separate from processes. And as I realized this, then suddenly I saw that I needed a system for creating system and a process for creating processes. Just having one, either of those two, a process for process or a system for systems will not solve your business systemization problems. You will struggle. You will struggle because you lack that key insight how do these things relate together? Go to work on that. Go think about how your systems relate to your processes. And in that will unlock a key that holds for you an opportunity to live a life that is beyond what you are doing right now. The end of long hours, the ability to scale your business because you can run systems. And when you need more work done, you put more people in to run the systems. This gives you freedom. This gives you profits. This gives you a business that has a massive advantage over all of your competitors. If you need some help with that, if you'd like to know the relationship between those, Head over to systemio.dev. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you got a lot of value from today's episode. It is Christmas Eve here. I'm going to go and celebrate with my family, my wife's family. We're up in Brisbane. It's a beautiful day. And we've got tonight with her family, tomorrow with my family, which is always an exciting experience. So look forward to coming to you live from Christmas Day with my family. You have a great night. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode as we continue this journey into the power of systems to create results. See you then.